Got more good news for you. So as you guys saw in the two previous videos, you saw from 2019 through 1985, but just so you guys know, really over like the last 100 years, it goes far beyond 1985. Okay. Pretty much for about the last 100 years, the IMF has actually, when the IMF has initiated the rate changes, they've always done them around the end of April, just so you guys know. Okay. So they've done most of the, the IMF, when, again, when the IMF has initiated the rate changes, they typically do it at the end of April for the IMF's new fiscal year, which starts May 1st, okay? So I want to stress to you right there, even the IMF has positioned and, and performed the timing of Iraq's small rate changes to occur at the end of April for the beginning of a new fiscal period. Well, again, it's the IMF's fiscal period starting on May 1st. So as you see, I'm trying to show you how these are linked to fiscal periods, okay? So you have that. Then, but then there's two of them. The two that you saw, that you see right here on the screen from 2003 and 2004. These were not initiated by the IMF. These were initiated by the Central Bank of Iraq. Let's talk about these. I want to put a big focus on these for you and, and explain to you in great detail why. Okay. Why did, because the one, the reason why, here's why they, um, so they have one in, in September of 2003 where it shows a rate of 253, but why? Why do they have one in September of 03? Okay. Then as you guys see, they have one for September 22nd of 04. That's the one where it devalued, guys. I've, I've, I've figured out why they posted the one in September 8th of 03. Let's look at this. Right here, guys. That's when they released the new Iraq dinar that you and I as investors hold. But keep in mind, when they did release this, they actually had coins in circulation too. So they, they would have put coins in circulation when it had the high value in 03. So, so it had the high value for about a year. Okay, I know there's, I know there's um, you know, one kind of kind of a not too bright guru that keeps telling you the sweet spot of the dinar was around a dollar thirty two, dollar thirty four, but yet, but yet if that's the sweet spot right here in 03, its sweet spot was actually greater than two dollars, two fifty three. So so as you guys see, there's never been a sweet spot of anywhere in the dollar range, okay? Right there, greater than two bucks. So anyway, just want to throw that out there. But anyway, so here you guys go. The reason why they, they, that they did a, um, that they showed a September time frame for a, for a rate change, okay, the IMF, is because those were initiated by the Central Bank of Iraq, not by the IMF. Okay, I want to stress that to you. Again, the one from 03, okay, that one was when they they that, they they changed the rate, and this is what I've been always trying to tell you guys. I've always stressed this to you. They changed the rate in September because the new fiscal period was in October. And as you see, according to this factual article, they released the brand new currency notes as of October 15th of 03, okay? So there you guys go. So that's why they showed a rate change in 03. And then the reason why they showed one in September of 04, again, on September 22nd of 04, because that's when they actually devalued the currency, guys. So September is huge in this. So I just want to show that to you guys. And I wanted to give you the, uh, to give you a clear understanding of what was important about 2003 of September of 03 and September of 04 why they why they would have done these steps okay but now you guys know it's because September of 03 okay again October's there was their new fiscal period the fiscal periods as you guys see have everything to do with this and I've always stressed to you guys accounting periods accounting periods accounting periods so as you guys saw October would have been the start of the of the middle of the year fiscal period. That's why they would have released the the new notes that you and I as investors, the newer Iraq dinar, we hold that. They released that on October 15th of 03. So they changed the rate before that new fiscal period at the end of September. And guys, I brought you almost three weeks ago now. I've been stressing to you 
the end of September. Now you guys see why I've put a huge emphasis on it and I'm bringing this to you. So there you guys go. You guys have a great night.